G'day, uh, Daniel and Peter from Priam. Just want to give a brief overview of the basics and primary principles of incubation. So, what are they, Peter? Daniel, incubators, you're incubating an egg. It's very simple. You need a uh, temperature, a specific temperature, the, to, which is basically warmth, which enables the embryo to grow in the egg. If it's too cold, it won't grow. If it's too hot, it grows too fast. Second one, humidity. If humidity is okay, it can uh, influences the weight loss in the egg during the incubation period. There's a couple of things that uh, influence weight loss. One is the thickness of the eggshell, and the other is the amount of humidity in the incubator. You have to manage the two, such that you have a, a weight loss somewhere between 10 and 20% over the incubation period from the start to when it externally pips. Thirdly, you've got a turning regime. The turning regime influences the supply of nutrients to the um, growing embryo, um, and every time you turn the egg in the first half of incubation, the embryo floats back around the top and therefore is in contact with fresh supplies of albumin, which is the nutrition source for the growing embryo. This you manage it uh, by just literally monitoring with time the uh, amount of veins in the, in, the, in the egg when you candle it with a candling light, something like this here. Um, you're aiming to have total vein development or allantoic membrane development by 50% of the normal incubation period. If you do that, you, what you tend to have is a very strong chick attaching. The other two uh, things which are important in, in incubating is hygiene, and that's very simple. You use clean eggs, um, and if you are uh, having, putting, uh, say, wood shavings in your nest boxes, um, it's you, and you're harvesting the eggs, you should have clean eggs. If you get having dirty eggs, well, you do, do need to use some sort of egg wash, um, to clean that egg and of course the other thing of hygiene is just having clean incubators very simple clean hands when you work it so wash your hands and all that sort of stuff if you're going to work the eggs and that's really in okay. a nutshell the yeah. last one is airflow the supply of oxygen to the uh, the egg the eggs need a supply of oxygen uh, and therefore and that's simply done in our incubators or small incubators by they have small little um, air holes in the bottom you can see down here and the air is sucked through here and it's drawn up and circulated and that's really all you need to have to worry about and it's very easy. It's only when you get into big large commercial um, incubators where that becomes an issue. Okay, so uh, summarising the five points are temperature, yep, humidity, yep, egg turning, yep, hygiene, yep, airflow. Okay, there you go.